What's up, what's up? Part three. Thursday night with Tomcat. I could almost use that, but I can't. Where there are no rules. No safe spaces. No hat. Where all we talk about is nothing. And nothing is all we talk about. What's going on, guys? Part three in the tree. I don't know what else to tell you about the cat. Nothing else that matters. The cat loves to do inspirational and motivational stuff because I've seen hell. Let's hit it. I've seen hell. I've seen people die. I've seen people killed. I've seen all the bad things that life has to offer. I used to work at a grocery warehouse with this guy who always used to ride, drive the trucks. He was always mainlining on the H, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I had to wake him up at 5 a.m. And on this special day, he wouldn't wake up. <laughs> 14 years later, he still hasn't woken up. I'm saying he was fucking dead. No family. No friends but me. Stuck at Hotel California. In Michigan. I just couldn't imagine. Someone tries to wake me up. And I'm gone. That's why I don't fuck with drugs, man. Why do you think they call it dope? Fuck that noise. I'm not going to say I haven't done drugs. But I'm going to tell you I haven't done them in decades. Because why? School bus. Yeah, let's just stop right here. Some fucking kid out. Son of a bitch. Tomcat. I got one son. I got three stepsons and a stepdaughter. And my oldest stepson died. He had a heart problem. He died a couple years ago. Destroyed my wife. This guy thought of me like a second dad. Tore me apart. That's what got me into drinking again. He wasn't my son, but he was a stepson. We were close. We've been close since he was a young, young boy. So I can't say I know what it's like to have a kid die. But I know what it's like to have a stepson die that I was close to. Fucked my whole world up. My wife still hasn't recovered, nor should she, nor have I, and nor should I. That's why I tell you, grip the moment. Kids are not supposed to die before their parents or step parents. Brings up ugly memories thinking about it. Yeah, the cat gets emotional over these things. He was only early 20s. <sighs> so much potential. Guy was smart as shit. He was a hustler. He got in his fair share of trouble, but he was a hustler. And I respected him. And I respect people whether they're older or they're younger than me. I don't care. If you earn my respect, you earned it. Let's change the subject. Tomcat's getting all emotional and misty about this shit. Broken toilet, you'll never... They're never gonna shit again in that broken fucking toilet. There we go. Sometimes I like to sing. You know, I don't really like music right now. I will again. I don't like music because I hear it every fucking day at nauseam. The same shit. Drives me nuts. I ain't that kind of cat. 
I like to take my days and work, hustle it, grind it out. That's how the cat gets down. So we're about to sit down at the cut, take a break. I won't keep you guys too long. I'm trying to think if there's anything else you don't know about the cat. Cat's got a twin brother. He's got another brother and a sister. He's married. He's got kids. He's got stepkids. Blah, blah, blah. You know all this already, man. <sighs> Thursday night with a cat. I'm still kind of fucked up about the last topic, guys. You don't get over that quickly. Just like my chocolate lab, Hirsch. You know, that's the thing is you never get over things. You just move forward in their memory, but you never forget. And it never stops hurting you. People always tell me when they lose a person or they lose an animal or something. And they say, how do I go on without them? And the honest answer from a veteran in this situation, you don't go on without them. Bring the camera close. Come here, guys. Let me tell you something. You never go forward in life when you lose someone or something very special to you. Cat's going to tell you that right here, right now. How what, what I did and how I deal with it is I got to look at it like I honor them by continuing to live. That's how I find. But in the back of your head, you never... You never want to live without them. And that's real shit. And I ain't super emotional. And I'm not cold. But you never live without those people. Boy, this took a turn that I didn't want for uh, Thursday night, but... It's cathartic. You don't go on without those people or those pets. You can't go on without them. You push forward in their memory. I'm going to leave that at that because I'm getting fucked in the head right now, guys. Thursday night with Tom Cat. No rules, no safe spaces. We're all we talk about is nothing and nothing is all we talk about. This show is especially not ever, will ever, never, ever, ever going to be sponsored by McDonald's, Stanley Steamer, or Hell Hotel. Never. They are not on the ether. McDonald's can suck my dick. Stanley Steamer can suck my fucking dick. Hell Hotel can suck my motherfucking dick. Let's bring it light again. Let's bring it back, Jack. Anybody that says they want to take the road to McDonald's, you know what I tell them? Road closed ahead. I ain't loving shit. For a reason. If I wanted to eat shit, I'd eat it out of a woman's ass. Oop, too far, Tomcat. Too far, too far, too far. All right, let's settle it down. I'm a leg man. I'm not an ass man, so there you go. Whatever. No shit, shoot, bumble tumbles. All right, guys. Well, we're getting a little nasty and gross here, and it's nothing new, new for the cat, but I think I'm going to flip the gun on this one. Call it done. Take the bullets out of the chamber. Rack it and re-rack it. Call it empty. And we'll see what else happens. I'm hoping the storm comes back, guys. I really am. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a tumbleweed of a grocery bag. That's fucking Florida for you. Tumbleweeds of a grocery bag. Ain't that America. All right, guys. I love you. We'll see what happens after this. If there is an after this today. I love you guys. Tomcat out.